Hello, beautiful ladies. Guess what? You spoke and I listened. 49% of you want Revlon. So that is what I'm doing. I went to Ulta the other day and just went through Revlon. And it was interesting. There is, it seems like it was a smaller section than I've ever seen it. Illuminance, Illuminance Revlon Serum Tint, Broad Spectrum SPF, Ginger Root Vitamin C and Vitamin E. It's got SPF 15 in it. Uh, this is in the color 301, which is cool beige, Icelandic beige. <laughs> I don't, all I have now is uh, on my eyes is the concealer that I got. But I want to let you know too, this Revlon is very expensive. These three products, the uh, tint, the concealer, five in one concealer, five of what I don't know, and then their serum blush. So this was $18.99, this little tiny tube. This was $14.99, this little tiny tube, and this was $13.99. This is this tiny tube made long. <laughs> I just want to see if it's worth its weight in gold. So those are the three pricey items. Then I was, then I got myself a lip liner in nude, and I got a lipstick. I love their lipstick. Their lipstick is the best. This is just, yeah, this is but a lipstick. I am going to do peachy eyes. My wonderful uh, subscriber, Carla, asked if I would please do a peach. She says, that's a rave right now. So I had to get three different palettes to try to find a, a, a way to do that. All right, so my eyes are prepped and I use my <laughs> NYX pore, the stuff that I had told you before had squirted out in little balls. Well, apparently that's okay because this one did it too. You just kind of rub it and, and, and it does get rid of the pores. It's fabulous that way. But I, I, I was gonna take the other one back because I thought it was defective. It was the user. All right, this, we're gonna open it. Oh. I opened the packaging because I'd like to speak to the people that package, okay? It's ridiculous. I cannot get these little things off, you know, peel them off for nothing. Whoop. And then I'm going to take my sponge. Go find it. Go find it. How has your week been? And I have no rhyme or reason, you know. I just start wherever I want. So I, I think this is it's a serum tint. So I don't really believe it's something you can build, but I was putting on an Ulta. It was going on as if it was a full coverage. So, okay, I don't think this color is too bad. I wish they all, if, if you're cool beige in one, you're a cool beige in the other. They were so close. I was beige, soft beige. Oh my goodness. I got to where I just couldn't, I was beiged out, okay? I was beiged out. I think with this, I'm layering more because it is very thin. But if you want a natural looking makeup, oh, it does go on lovely, let's see. Yeah, it's a tint all right. And I like light coverage makeup. I want a go-to that I can just slap on and run out the door without doing a full coverage or medium coverage. My redneck. Okay, next I like to do the eyes. And then clean up any fallout and then finish off. Now, in order to get the colors, I have three palettes. <laughs> I have Tarte's Toasted. And so I'm going to do Cashmere here for the lid, and then Latte for the crease. And then in the corner from the Milani little gilded mini palette, I'm taking this a little darker of a orange, not orange, of a peach. I'm going to use this color in the other Tarte palette called Stardust for the glitter, glitter, glitter. So. Let's get started. I will take the latte and I have some brushes. All these are my Jessup budget budget brushes. Okay, here's the cashmere. Let's cashmere, baby. Okay. Ooh, now this is a little shimmer. You know, but I don't mind and I go up because of my real estate. Got to build that build my ranch. Okay, that's pretty. Then I'm going to take it again for the other side. I'm going to do both sides, ladies. I'll be quick. I've been really quick. I used Anastasia Beaverhausen on my brows in ash brown. <laughs> it's a pomade. Okay. Let me go in for an extreme close-up. Pretty, very subtle. Okay. That's the baseline. Then I'm going to take my crease brush. Another fluff fluff. 
make sure. And I'm going to go into the latte. And we are going to do some crease action. Okay. This is going to be a very, very subtle. Oh, okay. Try to go again out over my big hood. You can open, go like that, and then look straight ahead to make sure you get it. As I said, this these colors are so beautiful. I'm going to go look. Like a creamsicle. I'm going to make a creamsicle eye. That would be at Lala's creamsicle eye. Here we go. All right. I told you the little darker one here. Not on the end, but right there. Yeah, I was getting a kick out of the trends. I was reading about trends this morning. The thing that the most of them agreed on was lips that were textured. And I'll have to figure out what that is. And eyeshadows that were textured. Now, they had one, one lady was doing an eyeshadow that was grunge. She said, that's gonna come back. That's not for our age group. Well, it could be. Hey, remember? I shouldn't put any limits. We can do whatever we want that felt comfortable. It was just so dark and, you know, and I don't do a smoky eye. I don't want it to catch on fire for one thing, because I think it's what it is. It's like charcoal has been put out. No, some women can rock it. This is very, very light. Okay. It is a creamsicle. Oh, yar. Oh, I like it, guys. Ladies, I mean. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this Starlight. Put it on the thinner. There we go. And I'm gonna go in. Whoa! My crush. Okay. What do you think, ladies? I'll do clean up as well. I think that's pretty. Thanks, Carla, for this suggestion. All right, creamsicle. Find me a creamsicle palette, will you? All right. Okay, now this is supposed to be violet. But it's supposed to be waterproof, and I'm doing it not on the waterline, but right on the line of my lashes. You can just go like this, pull it up like so. Now this is a very light, kind of a, looks more bluish to me. I like a little, I like to come up just a little bit. And then I like to go right here in the corner to make it a little bit bigger. Again, I'll go here. All right, next I am going on to the blush. Take my fenner. Ooh. Okay, so this isn't a, this isn't a cream, this is a serum. Can you see the color? It looks really dark, but then. Now I'm gonna do underneath my eyes, okay? My concealer, which is I think might be a little too light, but they didn't have the color I wanted, but then I thought sometimes to illuminate, exterior illumination, you know how I feel about that. So I can take another blush. I have thousands of blush. This is my um, Jessup concealer. And don't pull, just pat. Don't drag. All right. Now we'll see how it lasts. Our eyes are such a challenge. I mean, I do everything they say. It's better than what it was from when I, now that I'm preparing my eyes and under eyes. So I'm gonna go into lips now. I am not doing my eyelashes because I'm saving that for the lash video that you have already seen. And I hope I did well. <laughs> now I'm gonna do the lips first before I comment on anything. Always make, to make sure my makeup's down over there. So I'm gonna try their nude stick. Okay, can you see me? Uh, oh, very, very creamy. Goes on. Okay. Now I end up filling it in. I know people just go around and have these big old dark lines and then fill in the lips. That's not some. That's not a look I like. I feel like my mouth is dirty. Got to rub it off. 
Okay. Nude, the new nude I got. You know this reminds me of? It reminds me of uh, Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. And this is way half the price. That's the color it looks like to me. Oh, uh, yeah. I think it's lovely. I did think it kind of was setting in my lines a little bit, a little bit more than I like already, but not down here. I'm just, I'm dry in spotches, in spatches. I'm dry in spots. So that's why I'm adding humidifiers to every room in my house. But we'll see this Revlon, which is now middle of the road, uh, $19, $20 by the time you're done. I guess maybe that could be cheap. And please let me know what you'd like to see. How to's, what are you interested in? <laughs> interested in grunge makeup? I can do it, whatever you want. All right, I love you so much and we'll see you again soon. Okay. So, the Revlon. How did it hold up? For what it's worth, you know, it's a tint. It held up. It, it had never been full coverage. It did wear off course around my mouth, and it was always dry right up here. And it never really softened up as the day went by. So that could be my skin, not the, not the foundation. Is it worth $20? For that little amount, depends on how much you're going to use it and what you're looking for. I think that the lipstick is amazing. I've always loved their lipstick. Their lip liner was really nice. It didn't last all day. And I really love the liquidy blush. I don't use a lot of liquidy blushes, but I thought it was great. But I think overall, it did well. All right, till next time, cheers.